Here's what trauma looks like. You get a trigger. Casey, I don't think I can pay for this. I, 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 everything's too much. It may look like family drama. Brother going to jail, somebody's pregnant, somebody dissed you. That's the first thing. Putting you in back in fight or flight. You re-traumatize yourself. Feeling all those feelings, that's why we overreact sometimes. Where some women, you see them, you're like, how can you be so calm and collective and going through the same thing? It's because she's either doesn't have trauma in that area or she's cleared it. One of the two. Everything's relative based on what we've experienced in our life. Next, we react and we blame. Well, it just got too busy at school. Well, so-and-so spent all our money. COVID happened. It's Christmas time. We, we go to blaming. Next, we cope and avoid. We had a lady get down to it on a phone call and hang up the second she went to submit for payment. Why? It's because that was her edge. She was looking her trauma just dead in the face. She got traumatized, went back through it and avoided. She went straight into avoidance. We're gonna keep getting the same lessons. They're gonna keep showing up in different people, places, and situations until we say enough's enough or until we just croak out. And so after they cope and avoid, they pull out, they cancel payments, they don't make the phone call, they don't reach out and ask for help, they quit and everything goes back under control. Our nervous systems regulate and calms back down because we got back in control, right? Because that's how our, we cope. Eating disorders, anyone? When we get back on the cardio, when we add back in the cardio, when we take out the calories, when we add the supplements in, when we go to the hormone doctors, when we go get surgery because we want it now, like that's our way of coping with the pain, but we never dealt with the trauma that caused it. So once we get that, we think, oh, we're happy now, back under control, and then we get triggered again, the whole cycle continues. There's a thing coming up where in the next six weeks, what you do is where you're gonna be for the next two years. So if you really like where you're at, keep doing what you're doing, because you're gonna be there for two more years. You have a portal right now to shift, and I'm gonna help you go through these triggers. Who's ready? Because a lot of people think they know what trauma is, and trauma shows up in so many different ways. Trauma is waiting for things to die down. Trauma is, let me wait until things calm down. Trauma is, let me wait till the kids start back to school. Trauma is just, let me wait till the overwhelm subsides. And right now, a lot of us are experiencing new levels of overwhelm, feeling scattered and ungrounded and out of off center. We talk to women every day in trauma responses. I mean, I go through them as well. It's really important to notice because if you don't, you're gonna stay in the same situation. You're gonna stay where you're at, stressed out, always waiting for things to die down before you take action kind of thing. And let me share this story. So tonight I was reaching out to a former student. She actually changed her name. So I was like, I didn't know who she was. And my team had reached out, that's what it was. And then they were figuring out like, okay, well, who is this lady? And then when we saw it, she was like, oh my God, yeah. She was in a program and stopped. I knew she was getting married. And I go, when, when was your wedding? She said, yeah, the wedding was so-and-so. And it was just right when she said abandon ship because of valid reasons, you know. We all have valid, valid reasons. Oh, it's just never a good time. Let me just wait till I feel safer. Let me wait till things die down. And that is a trauma response. That's the very times when we go inward instead of escaping and abandoning ship. Scary as it may be, but that's why you need someone like me to help hold your hand and other women that are in the mastermind. Well, Hot Mom's mastermind is those that work with me on a deeper level, more intimately. It's a different energy, right? And so these women have been there for a while and they too have become so enlightened that I can now like be hands off in the group because these women have healed and transmuted so much of their own trauma. They can really help new students that are coming in and feeling like they're overwhelmed and, and, and they're gonna fail and they need to pull out or they need to stop or whatever. And so that's why the success rate is higher than normal because we say, hey, by the way, are you willing to raise your hand when you need help? Because here's what, here's what that's gonna look like. It's when things get too overwhelming. It's when things you feel yourself start to slip back and not work out and not take care of yourself or not sleep or feel extra anxious, feel like you're reaching for that extra cup of coffee or something's off that's that's the trigger but what do we do we say well let me just make sure i get my job done let me just get through november let me just get through december let me just get through this stressful time and then i'll do this that my friend is trauma if your child over here was in a bad situation about to step out in oncoming traffic would you be like well i gotta make these two calls over here and it's november and it's insurance season or it's just too busy right now they can just i just gotta wait no they would die yet we do it to ourselves all the time but why it's trauma Women don't see that as trauma. We're different than men. Our brains are different. Like if you just knew more about who you are, you wouldn't beat yourself up so much. You would take more time for yourself and you would care for yourself like you care for your children. And that's the sad part is a lot of us want to be really good moms and we think that we're doing the right thing, but we're treating our kids the way we treat ourselves. Oh no, I give to my kids more than me. Exactly. You're teaching them out of a empty cup. These little guys over here, their nervous systems aren't like an adult. So when they grow up, 
with a little nervous system. In a chaotic environment or financially, woe, financial woes, mom and dad, there's a lot of shame and guilt there. There's sports abuse. There's feeling the need to be perfect, not trying to piss mom or dad off, whatever it may be. We feel all these feelings once the trigger happens. 90 to 95, probably more, percent of the population, they will never change. That's a trauma cycle. It happens with food, relationships, money, business, manifest into health, stress, whatever problem you're going through right now, that's what it is. Whatever, if you're at right now and you're wanting to go to the next level, that's why it's not happening. So Casey, how do we do this? That's what Hot Moms is for. So you need to find out how you can get into Hot Moms. How can you find a way to work with me? How? That's what you need to be asking us. We have all the resources we can help you figure out if it is a fit and we have actually a great resource if you cannot enroll you just have to ask for help and that may feel hard for you because all these other things start going through your mind that's the trauma cycle that i just explained it's not that we make you relive it and you're never going to do that actually it's kind of like i was saying like with kids if a kid needs to be consoled nurtured when after they hurt themselves or something you know you don't have to go and relive like right when you show up you don't have to like have it happen you just need to be there for the emotional release after it happened wherever you're at right now and you're not where you want to be there's a block there there's problems that's where you just ask for help you say casey or you dm me or you comment and you say i think i need some help with seeing what's going on here and we can jump on the phone and figure out what's going on, what's the block, where's trauma showing up in your life? Is it on the scale? Is it that you lose weight and you can't keep it off and you keep yo-yo dieting? Is it that you can't afford to work with the people that you need to be working with? Is it that your relationship won't allow it? Is it that you feel like you don't have enough time? That's what we're gonna figure out. And we've got a ton of ways that you can take action. It does not have to be just hot moms. Everybody's not going to be a fit for hot moms, okay? But your job, if you're here, is to listen to this video. And you'll either get one of two things. You'll get really triggered and think that I'm this way and this way and this way. And you'll feel like a lot of shame and guilt and want to come at me and all this other stuff. That's fine. You're getting what you need. I trust or you're going to say, absolutely, I need some help. And um, you're going to take action because you don't want to be in this cycle for the next two years because that's what's going to happen. Then what we do in the next six weeks is going to be how the next two years roll out. So how's the next two years going to roll out for you? So if you want a solution, you need to go book a call, fill out an application, get on our calendar. CaseyShip.com forward slash book a call.